Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial and in this video I will be talking about this paragraph tool right here on the right hand side of your screen. So this paragraph tool is right below the color guide tool and you will require one of the latest versions of Adobe Illustrator, preferably Adobe Illustrator CC 2019 to get access to all the newer updates and newer tools right so by default when you open your when you open your software you will see all these tools but just in case if you don't make sure that the essential classics options has been switched on from this drop down box below right so in order to uh, use the paragraph tool we will require some text on our document right so we will go over here to this type tool and just click and drag our mouse to approximately this big right okay so you will see some type of dummy text coming on your text box so in case if you just select this box you can go over here to the font size and select the font size accordingly right so you can also change it here again right it was 24 we can make it 30 like that okay so by default your dummy text will be black in color like this right so what the paragraph tool actually does is that will help you to make your text a lot better or in case if you want to make any changes to your text you can do that with the paragraph tool right so if you click on this so this top panel right here you can adjust the adjust the layout so if you want your text to be left aligned, it will be like this, the first one. If you want it to be centrally aligned, you click on this second one and it gets centrally aligned like that. Similarly, right aligned is like this. So these ones, it's like other just alignment options that you can play around and see which one you think would be better for the document or illustration that you're making right so i think that justify all lines works best as of now right so this one right here what the, the first one what does is that it determines the space you want to leave on the right hand side right so by default it's one so in case if you increase the size you can see that the space slowly starts to get added on the right hand side and the text automatically starts getting adjusted accordingly right you can do that right or you can just stick to the one that you find most appropriate i think three looks good that way similarly in case if you want to leave any side on the left hand side as well you can do that by adjusting this adjusting the values from this up and down arrows right here right so i'll bring it down you can see slowly that the texts are being adjusted accordingly so i think three also looks okay like that now similarly if you want to change the color of your text you can easily come over here to this color panel so over here you can manually choose which color you want right you can just drag drag your eyedropper tool and whichever color you want to choose it gets displayed right here in this fill option and whichever color you choose it automatically gets updated on the text right here see you can choose a darker shade if you like or you can choose a 
lighter shade, whichever one you want, like that. And see, from black, now we have changed it to this darker reddish maroonish shade like that. Or you can also come to this color guide right here. So the color that we had initially chosen, this maroon shade, that palette also gets created over here. So all the darker shades are in one corner and all the lighter shades, the tints are in the other corner like that. So you can play around with it as well and see which one you like best according to the document that you're making. Play around with the colors as well. And you can choose which one you like. I think the darker shades look a lot better like that. So once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and close this paragraph box like that. So let's also move this box a little upwards like that. And there you go. So now we can also go ahead and save our documents by going to file and clicking on save as. So by default, our documents will be saved as an Adobe Illustrator file. You can easily click on save and by default, our documents will be saved in this format, right? So I highly recommend that we first save our file in this format so that in case if I have to make any changes, I can easily access my AI file and click on save. And that's it. So this was the paragraph tool and as you can see, it was really, really easy to use and it's not at all difficult at all, right? So that's about it and thank you for watching and keep practicing.